How's it going? It's Fangs, and welcome to a Q&A question and answer. I hit 175,000 subscribers today, which is insane. I want to thank you for that. I'm making this on Tuesday, though, and you're probably going to get it a week later or something like that, because I'm going out of town to St. Thomas, and I wanted to bring you all a Q&A, because I haven't done it since I've had, like, way more subscribers. Now, you're going to see this over some gameplay with my beautiful team that I play with, which is the one with Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good little match I had to go through. It was a little laggy at first, the ball's black, I apologize. That was his fault, not mine. Um, and is there's some shaded area, so I am sorry for all those parts. But anyway, before we get started here today, if you want to get some FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Coins, check out thegamekeys.co.uk. I'll have a link in the description below. 5% discount for Fangs, so don't forget to use that. Fangs with an S at the end of it, that would be grand. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started in this though, and we have some questions from some of my viewers. I'm gonna try to answer as many as I can. We kind of scrumbled and jumbled in between this M squad that I tweeted out because I tried to get people to build me an M squad. So we're gonna start here. My very first question that I have for today is from Matthew Mullen. I feel like I gotta sit up straighter. I hate sitting like without having a back. Um, he says, when did you start YouTube and why? So I've answered this in some Q and A's, but I'm just gonna answer it again because I have tons of new viewers. I started YouTube two years ago in March. So that would have been my two year mark. And I wasn't that active then. I actually didn't make that many videos at all. I've had some times in between where I've stopped. Um, at one point I wanted to, I thought I was going to be like some Call of Duty pro. So I decided to stop for like five months like an idiot. But um, I started YouTube for the fact that I was streaming FIFA. And I was on there and I had a, a ton of people watching me. And I had a company come after me and say, their name was Yaosh, and they were like, hey, um, we have this stream network, do you want to be a part of it? I was like, yeah, so I partnered with their streaming. And then past that, um, I got approached by their one of their sports directors or whatever it was, which was, his name was Baith, and someone else's name, I think, Tyler, Deathly I Am or something, as well as they had some other people like Wee Peeler and Nepenthes. And they're like, you should start YouTube. Um, you know, it would, it would probably be beneficial to have you ever tried making YouTube videos. And I tried it a little bit with Call of Duty, but I wasn't like completely into it. And I was like, yeah, I'll give it a try. I'll see what I think. I'd always wanted to do something similar to that, so I gave it a try, and I liked it. <laughs> I made the first videos were terrible. Sometimes you can see them if you see any of my like recap videos. I should probably go back and do one at some point. But the first videos were just bad, but they got better. I ended up continuing doing it, and. At one point I got really serious about it and I really wanted to do it so I started doing daily uploads and that's where I became where I am now. I just continued to grow past that because I was consistent I guess. And so yeah, that's how that started. We have at LFC underscore Sargent. He says, how many Team of the Seasons have you gotten this year? I think I got all together like a total of seven Team of the Season cards which is pretty awesome. I was more happy to get my Ronaldo card but still Team of the Seasons, great. I hope that I get tons more. The Bundesliga I think comes out. It'll have already been out by the time this video comes out, and I better have gotten like 10 of them. That's what I'm saying. I better have. We have at Hughes Benjamin. Why are you so bad at FIFA? Why aren't you just the nicest guy ever? I don't know. I mean, some people just... I don't understand a lot of like the way the plays work in the game in the first place. I should probably learn. At one point I will, the formations and how everything comes together. When I played, I played like in middle school and high school, and that stuff wasn't really... They didn't teach you that much. I mean, they taught you the basics. So I didn't really put it all together, so yeah. I may be kind of bad, but I don't think I'm terrible. I think I'm average, and I think that I make some mistakes when it comes to, um, I freak out whenever I'm gonna take a shot on goal and I always miss. That's like my biggest problem right now. Maybe my defense could be worked on. I don't know. But I'm average, I'm not terrible, I'm not the best though. I never said I was the best. Who has to be the best to do YouTube? Um, we have at Jack Lapping one he says the most OP striker this year. <laughs> This guy that I just found out about last week, no, I know who he is. I've used his regular card, Lukaku. I've used him, and I didn't think his regular card was very good, and then I got played against with skills played with him as the inform card. My gosh. He is a monster, and he is huge, and he is way overpowered. Actually, Team of the Year, Ibra, is the most overpowered striker card you can use in the entire game. You don't even have to try with him. You literally have to just sit back and barely hit the power button, and boom. You're gonna score mad goals, so I, I wish to get him some point, but he's five million coins. It's ridiculous. Um, we have at oh, LFC Sergeant again. Look at him with all these questions. He said, "What's your favorite game other than FIFA?" My favorite game, like of all time, other than FIFA, would be like the Elder Scroll games. I was obsessed with them. Um, Oblivion more so than Skyrim, and I did play a little bit of Morrowind, but that was a little bit before my time. Um, Oblivion was an addiction. 
I'm pretty sure I made at least four characters on them. I completely, you might be able to hear my dogs barking. I don't know what they're doing out there. Um, I completely spent hours upon hours building all kinds of characters, my favorite being the Khajiit. And I would put, like, I'd beat the entire game with all of them. And I would do everything, I'd read every book, and it was just ridiculous. Um, so overall, that'd be my favorite game. Right now, currently, I, I love Diablo 3, but I have nobody to play with anymore, so I don't play it. I don't like playing games a whole lot by myself. I like the social aspect of gaming, so yeah. Um, at Taylor Wilson 18 says, how old was you when you started YouTube and how old are you now? I think I started YouTube like completely when I was about 24 and I am now 26. That's, that has to be right. Yeah, because that's two years later. So I was 24 when I started and I'm currently 26, although I know I look like I'm 19. Duh, look at me. Just kidding. That was very cocky. I should have said that. Um, at AYK158 says, Fang, how was it dealing with the life and YouTube at the same time. Um, I think whenever people in England say how was, they mean how is. I don't, I, I, I don't know if I've noticed that. But anyway, back to what I was with. Um, it's kind of interesting. Right now, it's very chaotic. I have a lot going on because I'm uh, getting married and I'm doing this trip, the honeymoon part of it. And then, of course, on top of that, it's a lot actually, to be honest, like past this, this is going to be the most... I have to make all these videos and I have to do all this stuff and then I'll be done I'll be free to make videos and there won't be a whole lot in my way because I live in Austin and I don't live anywhere near my friends which is really depressing to be honest and it's hard to deal with sometimes I sit there like at my apartment and I'm alone and I'm like this is the worst ever because you're not going to work and seeing people that you're just by yourself um so that sucks if I was back home where I live like where I am now it would kind of be hard to deal with a little bit because I have so many friends here and they don't just not let you go out. Like, if I wanted to sit at home, they'd be like, no, you should come out tonight. And it would be this whole hoopla. So there's like a hit or miss, a win and a lose in both ways and situations. But right now I can manage it quite well because I know absolutely nobody in Austin, so I don't ever go out. I used to. At the beginning I went out way too hard, but let's cut that out. Cut that out. We have at Sam Midget. I can't read the rest of it. How much longer do you plan on doing YouTube? I hope that I can do YouTube for a long time. I don't know what I want to come out of it. Um, my, like, main goal in life was always, I wanted to try to get into, like, acting and doing commercials and stuff like that. And then I'm pretty, like, when it comes to most American sports, and then obviously I'm learning a lot more with football, I'm pretty knowledgeable with them, so I wouldn't mind being some type of, not like a caster, I don't want to be on, like, ESPN doing that, but maybe, but just be, like, the sideline reporter or something. That's something that I want to try to work on, getting out of it, but I'm hoping that YouTube lasts a while because it's, like, the best job ever. I mean, I literally get to sit there... Whose phone's even here that would be ringing? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I even, I literally get to sit here and play video games like FIFA and then make content over them and make money. So it's amazing. It's a really good job and I can only hope it lasts a long, a long time. We have at Fury Carcass. He said, would you, what? Would you cone, would you come to Wells to get the Wells sausage from Math Denton? <laughs> Absolutely not. I might like to travel to Wells at one point just to see it because it looks beautiful, it looks like beautiful country, apparently it's kind of fun to visit, but when I go there, it will not be to get the Wells Saucers. It's the last thing I'll be looking for. Sorry, Muff. Um, at Low Merch, you said, what did your parents say when you started YouTube full-time? My parents at first were like, how are you making money? Like, they just don't understand. For some, they still don't understand. Whenever they explain it to, like, their friends or whatever, they say I make commercials, which I don't. But, well, I guess there's commercials on my videos, but... Um, they don't quite understand what I'm doing, so they at first were just like, well, how are you going to make money? And they didn't understand that aspect of it, and then like, how are you going to have 401ks, and how are you going to get health insurance, and all this stuff. And so at first they were just like, mm, I don't know about this. And then I explained how I was going to do it, and then I showed them how it was happening, and they were like, okay, they're usually pretty supportive of me. Um, they're kind of enablers, to be honest. Like, anything I've ever wanted to do, they kind of push me to do it, so yeah, they didn't mind that much. They're okay with it. Still going through, still going through. We have at, yeah, it's Armit. He asked me if I was a virgin. No, I haven't been a virgin since I was 16. Um, there are some people my age that are. I mean, some people wait until marriage and whatnot, but I'm not, not since I was 16. We have at angels568. He says, is there any other girls slash women in the community of FIFA? If so, who? Um, there is, I think there's like at least two or three. I don't completely know. I know I saw like some girl streaming the other day. I don't remember her name. She had to be like, 14 or something like that and then there's another girl um, who is from Australia if I'm not mistaken I might be wrong on that 
um, who made a few videos that I saw recently that is, I also, I'd have to think of the name, but she's really long blonde hair. And then there's Miss FIFA Diva, and I'm not sure, I haven't like checked on her recently, so I don't know if she's still making videos, but it's like hit or miss, there's not a consistent, usually there's not a consistent girl doing it, which would be kind of beneficiary if there was, there obviously needs to be more in this community, um, there's tons in other communities, but for some reason this one there isn't a whole lot, that's probably because a lot of you guys are jerks, and you count them raging on my videos, they probably read my comments and they hear all the terrible things some people say, some of you say amazing things, but they hear some of the things that some of you say and they're like, Pfft. I ain't dealing with this, and so they don't come into the community. So maybe if we were a little bit nicer, the females in FIFA, we'd have more. At MDB34STYT says, what's your favorite YouTuber? Uh, myself, because I'm so amazing, but I don't know, I, really, I don't watch a ton of YouTube, and I don't have favorites, per se. Like, I come back and forth. I watched it a lot more whenever I had another job on top of my YouTube job, but here recently I don't ever have time to watch it, or maybe I'm just like sitting around doing stuff and I just don't need to watch it, I'm not bored enough to. So I don't really have a favorite YouTuber I don't pay attention to. I like watching some of the FIFA YouTubers. I try to keep in FIFA because I like to see what's going on, I like to see trends, I like to see like what their videos are like, and some of them are pretty entertaining, so I try to keep with that, but I don't have a favorite, I'm sorry, that doesn't answer your question very well. <laughs> At, how do you say this, Pilgrim Rule, he said, what keeps you motivated every time you lose a big wager to us? I guess that means the subscribers. Um, the motivation, I guess, comes with the fact that at one point I want to win. Like, I, I want to keep playing them and I want to keep putting cards on the line because at one point I'm going to win and it's going to feel amazing and it's going to be good for my channel. And if I keep playing people, like, I've always known that you have to play the best to be the best. Not that I want to be the best because that's a long shot. That'd be a lot of work. I haven't played the game as long as most people have, but. I want to continue playing and winning so that I learn things. Obviously you play different people, you learn different play styles, you get to see different things. And not to mention like you guys get a chance to win stuff. So either you like get a chance to play me, you get to be on YouTube, which is kind of interesting and cool for you, or you could possibly even win a card. So it's beneficial on my behalf because I don't know, I have the opportunity to learn and win and then it's beneficial on your behalf because you have the opportunity to be in the spotlight and to win cards. So I just continue doing them, I think they're great. Um, at Jason Brumming said, pets or no pets? I love pets. I don't actually have any of my own right now. Like, I'm at my parents. They have like four or five dogs. And um, I had one here whenever I was younger and I grew up with it. But it ended up passing away like three or four years ago. It was a shih tzu. It was really cute. I've always wanted a cat. But there's so many dogs here and a couple of them are kind of vicious. <laughs> so, not to each other, but to other. If a cat was here, they would be. And so, I want to get a cat. I haven't done it. I'm thinking about doing it like the next month or so just to try it out. Uh, they're kind of self-sufficient, and if you get them when they're kittens, you can train them well, and so I want to try that out. I'm definitely a pets person, though. Had horses growing up and stuff like that, but I just haven't, since I've been, like, away from my parents where my dad takes care of them for me, I haven't done it. I'm just, I don't know. I need to do it. I need to learn some responsibility. At Joshua804, oh god, there's a lot of numbers, 56625, I think he says, what's your favorite hobbies? I would have to say that my favorite hobbies, obviously right now, are playing video games. Um, I really love to travel. I didn't start doing it a lot, well, I did it around the United States. I've been to a lot of places in the United States, but I didn't start going outside the country until last year. Hopefully at the end of this year, I'll get to do it a little bit more, but I went to London. I thought that was amazing. I like sightseeing. Like, when I go places, I like to see old stuff. Um, when I go to New Orleans, like, I want to see their plantations and stuff like that. When I went to London, I wanted to see the London Towers and all that. So that's the kind of stuff I like to see. Um, hopefully this year, I'll get a chance to go back to London and maybe even try to go to uh, Germany. And then there's some other places I want to try to go, uh, possibly around here or maybe, like, in Italy and stuff like that. So uh, that's one of my biggest hobbies. I used to have tons of other ones, but I don't do them as much anymore. I played a lot of sports. I used to ride horses and stuff like that, but... I haven't really done them that much anymore. We have at Walshy7926, he said, if you had one place to travel to in the world, where would it be? Uh, if I wanted to go to one place, the one place I've been like dying to go to, and I'm kind of a beach person, I enjoy beaches. Uh, I don't like the sand on them, actually. I, I, I don't know how or why I enjoy beaches. I think I like the fact that I could like lay there and get sun and relax, but I don't like the ocean. Open water terrifies me, although I'll go into it, but just like up to my knees. <laughs> And then the beach sand can get like grimy and annoying. But besides that, I like the beauty of the ocean a lot of the times. And somewhere that I really wanted to go to is Bora Bora because that's over kind of like, how do I explain it? Maybe by the Philippines, I think, and stuff like that. Maybe like Japan, Australia, that part of the world. It's a 16 hour trip to get there, if I'm not mistaken, on the plane. Not even just in between, on the plane. 
but it is beautiful. The oceans, everything are beautiful there. You can stay in these like tiki huts in the ocean and they have like, ugh, what game was like that? There's a game, some zombie game where they stayed in the tiki huts and you could see it on there. I don't know exactly what it was. I think it was like, what was that game? I'm not gonna be able to think of it. You're gonna, if you know the game, put it down in the comments below, but it was a zombie game and you and like three other people were on this island and it was on, oh God, I wish I could think of it. I don't know, but you'll, you'll let me know. Anyway, that, that's where I'd want to travel to. At Liam Brad's 88 said, what's the first football game you've ever been to? I've never been to like a, a football game in Europe at all, which is terrible. I would love to go to one. I like him. Next time I go to London, I will be going to a match because I wanted to do the last time, but everything just rains together and I didn't have time. I go to them here quite often. Um, I went to Houston Dynamo one. I've, my first one ever was an FC Dallas one of one that was considered professional or whatever. So I went to a lot of the FC Dallas ones, which are crazy. They're a lot of fun. There's not a lot of people in the stands, though. Like, you don't hear a lot of the chanting. They try, but uh, MLS isn't that big yet, and it's growing, and it's getting there. But where I am in Texas, it's like we have the Dallas Mavericks, the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, the San Antonio Spurs. Like, the MLS teams, Houston Dynamo and FC Dallas, are not They're not going to get a whole lot of looks. So maybe if you go to ones that are, like, in Portland or maybe no, yeah, Seattle, then it'd be a better time, but I haven't got a chance to do that yet either. We have at Mr. SW FIFA says, have you ever done rodeo? If so what was it like? I did, whenever I was younger, I did do it. And I did something called goat roping or whatever, or I test, I tried it at least. Um, I did it a couple of times and it was like where you run, you don't run, sorry, you're on a horse, you go really fast. It's kind of like calf roping, but um, in a female version, you like jump off the horse, you grab the goat, and you have to tie it up in a knot and you gotta do it in like a certain amount of time. You wanna do it in the quickest time obviously possible. Tried it a few times, wasn't that great at it. Tended a lot of rodeos. I was more of a spectator for them than I was ever a participant. Um, I really love to watch them. I still do to this day. I'll still go to tons of rodeos because I like the bull riding part of it even though it's terrifying. Like when they fall off, half the time they're so close to getting kicked in the head, it's ridiculous. But it's something like if you ever come to the United States or if you're not from here, if you're from the North, even though they do it in the North, but not as much, you should definitely check out a rodeo. You should come to Fort Worth to the stock show and rodeo. It'll be a good time. All right, we have at Siron SD said advice on how to get subs on YouTube. That's kind of like a hard thing to give. Like you have to, for me, like it just depends. Like sometimes people just get subs. Sometimes people have to work really hard for subs. They just come and go. And I think it's based on your content. Obviously you got to be consistent. That's the biggest thing. You have to like upload properly and consistently so that your viewers continue to come back. Because um, the more they like your videos and the more they comment on your videos, the more it's going to show up in their feeds and other people are going to see them and they're going to like and comment on it. And that's how it kind of grows into an effect. You also want to try to work with people like starting around like your level and then moving up and just trying to communicate. YouTube for me, at least in FIFA, is completely about networking. You're always wanting to try new things. You want to keep up with what's going on, like what videos, say pink slips are big right now, you might be want to try some pink slips. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but you want original content. You can have some of that, but you also have to work with trends. Otherwise, you're never going to get anywhere. Um, but once you continue to build and slowly like be consistent and grow, that's when the subs start to roll in. It could be slow, it could be fast. It's hit or miss. We have at Penny Wizard says, what do you think of KSI Olegibity's F-U-T? But I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's got something special on it. But um, if we're talking about his skills... I think they're pretty good. JJ beat me. He's having some hard times beating some other people, but I don't think he plays as much as he used to. I think he needs to sit down, he needs to think about it, and he needs to practice so he can come in and start beating some people. Because he gets on the stream and he gets all like, yeah, I'm going to kick everybody's ass, and then he gets beat. Which I do the same. But I actually probably play more than him, so I don't have as much of an excuse. I should be winning. But yeah, I love JJ though. We're going to get one last question in here because I believe the time is winding down and it says... Um, at QB Reaper says, where do you think you would be right now if you wasn't if it wasn't for YouTube? I'd probably, if there was no YouTube, I'd probably still be playing Call of Duty with um, my girlfriends. I mean, I might be still streaming uh, FIFA and stuff like that, but I'd probably still be trying to do the competitive Call of Duty thing with my girlfriends, like Big Tricks and all of them, because it was a lot of fun and we got to travel to a lot of cool places and meet a lot of people, so that was awesome. So I'd probably still be into that. On top of that, I'd probably still be working in IT, which I was doing. Um, I don't know if I'd be at the same job. I don't know exactly what like I would do because I was kind of getting tired of that one anyway. I needed like a little bit more of a challenge. I was a little bored with it, so probably be doing that. And then I don't know, just playing video games like I always do because even without YouTube, I still freaking love video games. But yeah, that is gonna be it for this question and answer, guys. If I did not get a chance to answer your question, I'm sorry. I apologize. I will hopefully get to it the next time. 
If you did like this video and you want to see more Q&As, because I never do them, 1,500 likes as always, I ask. It would be amazing. I love you forever. Thanks for watching this one, though, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.